Hey everyone, this is Julia. Welcome to Tea Time. I want to do something special with you, which is going to be 12 days of tea time instead of Christmas. So I'm very excited and I hope you are too. I have my tea, well, it's hot water. And the first tea of the day, or the first tea of the 12 days, is going to be chamomile. So I'm going to brew this now. And I also have here my handy dandy tumbler, which um, has only hot water. So after um, I'm done with this cup. I'm going to put more water in there and then we can have more tea time together. But I'm going to close this for now so that it stays hot for however long tea time is. Or however long it takes for me to finish this cup. Alright, so I'm just going to open this up. And today I already burned myself like four times with that tumbler. The first time was, um, well, it was three times within like the first time. I um, accidentally put like a little too little water, like it was up to this much. And then so what I did was I topped it off with hot water. And then since it was like kind of full, I was like, okay, I'll just, you know, put the top on. And when I put the top on, like hot water spilled on the side. So that's the first time I spilled myself or burned myself and then I was thinking um, if I just open this up <laughs> this lip then I could the air the steam could escape so I opened it up and then more water fell out and then there was another time when I was trying to empty out this because it was too full so that was the third time and then the fourth time was just recently when I was coming upstairs after I put hot water in here um, and I forgot the lid in my room but I brought this bottom to the kitchen and so I was holding it like this in my arm and I completely forgot that I didn't have a top for it so I was like kind of walking like I didn't have like I had a lid but I didn't have a lid. So, yeah, that's how my day is going. Um, all right, so I just need to be a little extra careful today. You know, I think um, my clumsy side is especially coming out. Um, and I know that I'm really clumsy, so that's why I'm extra careful. All right, so. I'm going to use two, maybe I'll use the first, um, I'll use one uh, tea bag for now. And then um, when I'm done with this cup, I'll use a second bag. So that I'm not using both bags for the first cup and then the second cup is like more diluted. By the way, this mug is from Rifle Paper Co. Um, and it's a whitish, it's slightly pink. If you put this next to like a white mug or a white item, then you can see that it's pink, but otherwise it looks white. And um, Rifle Paper Co. has uh, this one and a mint green version of this. And I don't know why they don't have like a pink one, but if they did, then I would buy like four of them. It's, it's so, um, it's so good because it's like, it's triple insulated. The handle is super easy for my hands. You know, I'm being clumsy. You have to be cognizant about that kind of stuff. And the lid, um, there's a lid and it's not julia proof or child proof um but it works um the only downside to this cup is that it doesn't really fit in my car so if i'm traveling and stuff then 
it doesn't fit into the cup holder. So that's the only downside. All right, so I have a lot of things planned for us. Um, so I'm just gonna wait for the tea to brew. And I wanted to start tea time with a joke. <laughs> and um, I wrote down some puns and I hope you don't mind. Um, all right, so let's get this tea party started. So that's the first one. <laughs> and then, um, this is not related to tea, but um, my favorite joke of yesterday was um, a fun guy walks into a bar and the bartender says, you don't have any mushroom. So that's the joke of the day. And I promise, well, I can't promise, but I hope it gets better as the days go on, but that's a good start. All right. Um, so today I wanted to share with you a couple of things that I got from um, TJ Maxx and also from Aldi's. So I'm very excited. And um, okay, so at Aldi's, I got um, a candle because I thought it'd be nice to start uh, with the fresh new candle. Uh, for our 12 days of tea time and so this flavor is or the scent is frosted vanilla And it smells like vanilla so it smells really good Yeah, it doesn't smell like too sweet. You know how some vanillas are a little too sweet So I got this for us and I don't like the tin sound it smells really good. And then I also, um, this is a random household item, but I got um, indoor wall taps. So making one outlet into three outlets. And I feel like we should have this for every outlet because it's just so useful. There's not enough outlets at homes. And then what else did I get? Oh, this is really random, but I got a baking, like unsweetened cocoa because there are times when I want to just make like a hot chocolate, but I don't want to buy the packets of hot chocolate because um, sometimes they don't make my stomach feel good. So I'd rather just make my own um, from scratch. So I bought that and it only has um, unsweetened cocoa, I think. Yeah, ingredients are cocoa. Wow, it's like really tiny on the, it's right on the, underneath the nutrition facts and it's really hard to find because there's this recipe for hot chocolate. So that's even like bigger. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else did I get at Aldi's? Candle. Oh, a big item. Where did it go? Okay. I'm going to have to turn around really slowly because it was behind me. Okay. I got this big um, 12 days of holiday craft making, painting, and more. Um, and so I just thought it would be cute to, um, do some crafting together, even though I'm really not artistic at all. Um, but this is for ages six and up, so, you know, I hope I can do things. <laughs> we'll see. What were your expectations? <laughs> okay. So... But I'll 
do this after I share with you what else I got from TJ Maxx today. Um, I think that's all I got. Yeah, I didn't get that many items from Aldi's, even though I was there for a really long time. Um, and I couldn't find this like one chocolate wafer item, which I found before. I mean, I can find like five of them for like two dollars, but I can't find any more of these like knoppers snack size. Like this is so delicious. Like it's the perfect size snack for like one big bite. And it's like hazelnutty, it's light, it's not too chocolatey. Like even my mom who doesn't like milk chocolate, like she likes dark chocolate. Like she grabbed like a couple of these when I um, told her to try it. So they're really good if you can find it at your um, local Aldi's. So yeah, that's the main reason why I went to the Aldi's. Alright, so going back to what I got at TJ Maxx. So the first item I got was this Woodwick um, candle. The scent is Redwood and it's only one wick. It smells really good. It smells like eucalyptus. That's what this smells like. You know the um the eucalyptus and spearmint bath salts from um that one brand. I forgot the brand name. But yeah. It just smells amazing. And the reason why this was on sale was because it was a past season. So it's not this season. And I'll take that as a reason. And it was $15. Um, the vanilla candle was $2.50. And this smells even better. Um, let's light uh, let me think. Because I already have a candle burning. Mm, I think the vanilla one will match my current candle, which is this, um, it's Fraser Fur. Yeah, it's more Christmassy. So I have my handy dandy lighter. I always like starting a new candle. Like it's, I have a lot of candles that um, are like halfway done and I just can't finish them. So it's not burning too strongly. Can you see that? The top of the wick is like not burning. Really weird. Do you see that? There's like a stick. Anyway, okay. It'll probably fall off later, but all right, I'll put this on the side. Oh, um, and then the second thing I got, and I only got like two things. Um, the second thing I got was this Peter Thomas Roth Maskaholic. This has, I mean, I bought one item from Peter Thomas Roth. It's this like vitamin C serum and it's amazing. I bought three during the 23 days of Chris of um, 23 days of Ulta beauty. It happens twice a year and they every single day for the 23 or 21 days, they have different items for sale for 50% off. And I got three of them. 
and um, I'm already on my second one and I gave one to my mom so it's amazing so after that I was like if I can find Peter Thomas Roth for um, a discount then I will get it all right oh, this is really heavy um, all right so this has five things it has the um, the water drench hyaluronic I have a hard time saying that word hyaluronic cloud mask hydrating gel I think that's this big one it's um, 5.1 fluid ounces and then the cucumber gel mask extreme detox hydrator it's this one I think I've tried this one from a sample packet um, that Peter Thomas Roth gave me when I bought that uh, vitamin C serum and it was really good so I already knew I liked this product and then the third item is a 24k gold mask pure luxury lift and firm that's 1.7 fluid ounces Okay, and I'm glad that you have to rinse it with warm water instead of like peeling it off. Like I don't want to peel off a mask. Like I've seen people just like in big, like a lot of pain, just peeling off a mask that's like stuck on your skin. Um, so that's this one. And then the fourth item is a pumpkin enzyme mask, enzymatic dermal resurfacer. I don't know what this is. Aluminum oxide crystals? Hmm. Okay. Well, I, I'll try it. I don't really like pumpkin except for in my pumpkin spice latte and pumpkin pie. Like, I just don't think pumpkin goes well in, like, everything. Um, especially, like, a skincare product. Um, okay. And then the last one is... Cucumber Detox Hydrogel Eye Patches. So I think that's that. And so, how many are there? There's 15 pairs. So, yeah. So this was um, $99 CAD or $75 USD that I got it for $49.99. So, I think that was a good price for this. Um, and another thing that happened to me while I was there, I saw this Erno Laszlo, um, like little tiny, like 0 0.5 fluid ounces of like this eye night cream. And it was like, a, um, I forgot what the, there was like a flavor to it, but it didn't have a price tag. And so I go to the cash register and I ask them for a price tag and um, they it took them like 10 minutes to find the price tag and then they came back with like, it was like $39.99 for this little tiny Erno and Laszlo thing and a regular one from their website is $49. So I was like, I don't know, it's not really worth it um so yeah i didn't get that but i was a little bummed out i was surprised at like how much they were going to sell that for at like home goods so that's okay all right another thing i wanted to share with you today um was a couple of things that i do um to be green like I try to be zero waste like minimal waste if possible um, the first I'll say is when I use the um, the ponds cold cream every single night if I if I wear makeup I don't wear makeup every day um, then I will use something like this it's like a little I don't know it's like a little handkerchief that my grandma got me it's super like cheap and um you just use it for you know whenever you need to like wipe something off your face or 
to blow your nose. I mean, I don't blow my nose on this, but I use it for the cold cream and then I, and then I wash my face. So I use this so that I don't have to use like cotton pads because cotton pads, even though they're like really convenient sometimes, like it's a little wasteful for me. Um, and then a second thing I do is I use linen and I get a lot of my linens from World Market, which is like, if I feel bad, I will go to World Market and just hang out there because um, it's just a really cute store and they have like really cute items and yeah, it just makes me feel better. They have like kitchen items and um, baths or skincare items and furniture and all things home related that make you feel good. So I got this from, um, from there and I have a lot more linens, but I just can't find them. Like I lose a lot of things when I live with my parents. <laughs> and I think it's because my mom like puts things away and like doesn't return it back to me. So I like find things randomly. All right. I want to pause on the things that I try to be zero waste. And I want to show you my outfit. <laughs> Um, just because I haven't shown you yet and I love it. Alright. So yeah, there's not much to it. It's, um, it's, it has pockets, which is amazing. And I got this from the thrift store for a dollar seventy-five because um, that day, for some reason, when I went with my friend who was visiting me from Chicago, she and I went and it was 75% off, like everything. And so she was going a little crazy <laughs> with like all her vintage clothes that she found there. And then right as we were waiting in line for the register, we saw this, this and another one, which I'll wear on another, um, tea party um and so I was like let's have a golden girls night and I got I got this and the other one and then we wore it and unfortunately we didn't drink wine that night but I don't know it was just very nostalgic uh for me it just reminded me of like golden girls which I love all right I haven't had a sip of my tea because I can see the steam coming out. And after being burned four times today, I'm a little nervous, but let's give it a try. Mm. That's pretty good. Chamomile has like a weird flavor to me. It almost smells like, has like a bleachy smell to it. I mean, it's drinkable, like it's not super bleachy, but like, yeah, it's not an amazing tea. Like I'll say my Sleepy Time Tea by Celestial that's like one of my favorite nighttime teas to drink. Um, and yeah, this one is not. Let's see, what does this say? It says, a laugh is worth a hundred groans in any market by Charles Lamb. And I completely agree. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm trying to think of 12 um, like non-caffeinated teas because I was looking for teas 
But then a lot of them is like an Earl Grey tea, which is black tea, which has more caffeine than green tea. And, you know, there's a lot of green teas with, like, even jasmine tea has caffeine because it's a green tea. So, yeah. It's hard to find non-caffeinated tea for nighttime rituals. Okay. Alright, so I showed you my rag. I showed you my linen. Um, another thing that I use often when I'm grocery shopping is reusable produce bags. And m mine are kind of old because I've had these for a really long time. I had them since I, since 2018, um, like August 2018. And I got them from Amazon Prime um, because at the time I had Amazon Prime and now I don't. So like life is a lot harder, but I also don't buy a, as much stuff um, anymore. So I've, I think I've saved a lot too, because, um, I feel like with Amazon Prime, like if you need anything, you just look it up and then you just get it and you just end up spending a little bit more. So my reusable produce bags look like this. It's mesh and it has like a drawstring and it has a tear weight on it. Um, this one says they're 0.89 ounces, but when I buy stuff, like I don't really, um, like tear it cause it's just a lot of grocery stores don't really have that system in place. So I just, um, I put like mint in here, spinach, like things that don't, that aren't sold by the pound. But I also put like apples and like oranges and onions um, in here and it's like really useful. The only downside is that like fresh fruits and vegetables or fresh vegetables, things like spinach and mint, like if it's in here, it won't last as long because it's porous. So it's not as good as like plastic, but that's okay. We sacrifice for that environment. Mm, cheers. By the way, I was going to start tea time with hot water um, because I just like to drink hot water like in the mornings and also at night. But I didn't think it was appropriate for the first tea time, but it's completely okay if, if you like just want to get a cup of hot water if you don't have tea with you. No judgment here. All right, so that's the reusable produce bags. And like when I see my mom like grocery shopping, she uses like so many produce bags and I think a lot of people do. And it's like one of those things that you don't really like think about, you know, like you use it for produce, like you use like 10, 15 bags a week. And it's just, it adds up to me, for me. Um, I also want to share with you uh, what I use for, um, instead of reusable um, grocery bags. I use box bags. It's, it looks like this and it's, um, you just lift this little tab up and then you can, it folds like this. So you can, uh, store it in your car if you want like that. Um, and I found this at Ralph's, but you can find it in any grocery store um for way cheaper than like you can find online and i think this was like five or six dollars but i honestly need only like two or three well i need a little bit more because i have one in my the trunk 
that I keep all of my stuff inside. Like I keep a couple of jackets, like my gloves, my winter hat, you know, like random things that you might need. So I have all of those things like in that box. So I can't really use that box for groceries, but it's so useful for when you're like buying like juice or milk, like it's so easy. And what I do is I put, I bring two um, and I put it in the grocery cart and then I just like put things in the box. So it's already like organized. And this is really useful for um, if you don't like it when your onions roll or like things roll in your trunk while you're driving. Like it's, you know, like you don't want to, when you get home, like look for onion in the, in the corner of your trunk. So this is really, really useful. And it's useful for like juices too. Like sometimes like I, I buy like, if you buy three things of juice, like orange juice, you can just put it like one, two, and three, and you can put like other stuff on the side. And yeah, you don't have to like think about, you know, where's the bottom and you know, all of those extra little things. You know, small things that make your life or my life easier. And I'm just here to share it with you. All right. Um, what other things? Oh, I have here a box of what I call family cloth. And I only use this for, you know, peeing. Um, and basically what it is, is like pieces of cloth that I got from old t-shirts that I don't use anymore. And I um, use it to wipe it and then I put it in the, in the laundry. And I have like a box full of um, t-shirts or little scraps of cloth that I use. And it saves a lot on toilet paper. Um, and I haven't gotten, gotten into bidets, but um, one day I will. But yeah, this is what I use for now to be clean. And then another thing that I do um, for a woman, you know, is to use a menstrual cup, which is in here. But yeah, um, I started using a menstrual cup maybe like two years ago. No, it's been four years. Wow, time goes by really fast. So yeah. I've been using that for four years now um, and it's been like, it's amazing. So I won't go any more into detail about that. Um, all right, I'm just going to check my list here. So produce bags, family cloth, linen, reusable box bag, menstrual cup, a tumbler and water bottle. I feel like that's kind of Everybody does that, so I'm just not going to really highlight that one. Oh, seven is freezing produce um, and using it for broth. So what I used to do um, when I used to live by myself was I used to get this like big Ziploc bag and then whenever I cut like onion or garlic, I used to put the scraps inside the produce bag or not the produce bag, Ziploc bag, and then I freeze it. And then when I, whenever I buy like rotisserie chicken from like Costco, then I will make stock with the, um, with the veggie scraps and also the chicken so that, um, yeah, you're not like buying vegetables just to make stock that you're going to throw away anyway. So that's like a very frugal way, um, to make stock. And I think genius. Um, I have an Italian friend and, or she's American, she's Canadian, but she, her family is Italian and I was telling her about that and she's like, oh, that's a very Italian thing to do. So I didn't know it was Italian. I just, I think I heard it from someone and then I was like, that's amazing. That's a great idea. Cause like, and I did do that one time and the broth was just amazing because like, the vegetables that I accumulated in the frozen Ziploc bag 
was like all kinds of vegetables that have accumulated over like a month or two. So it had like parsnips. Actually, it didn't have parsnips. But it had like random, you know, like all kinds of vegetables that you would eat within like a month. Um, yeah, so. And it's okay if there aren't a lot of variety of vegetables. Like it's still very economical and very green. All right. And that is all I had for how to be zero waste. So, yeah. All right. I also kind of wanted to update you on the makeup that I'm using today because it's kind of minimal. It was supposed to be a day when I don't do any makeup and I look like a... I'm in, I was in bum mode earlier, but um, I spontaneously got this idea and then I briefly put makeup on and then I was like, I should get some tea for tea time or new tea. So I put makeup on and I went to TJ Maxx and Aldi's. So what I'm using right now is this L'Oreal Paris. One is uh, Pro Glow. And this is in Classic Ivory 201. And then I'm also using um, Pro Matte by the same brand. And I use both and I mix it on my hand right here. And then I just like, I just use my fingers and I just kind of like rub it out. So I didn't use any brush today. Um, and the, I didn't put any eyeliner, but I did use uh, my telescopic um, mascara, which is, I would say it's really nice for people with all eyelashes size, but honestly, I think it's really good for people with short eyelashes like me. Um, and the lipstick that I'm using is Flush Punch. By Maybelline New York so I kind of want to put that together it's a very like mild pink so it's not too strong but I like it it's like an everyday work color you know so I think that doesn't mean like you're going out tonight but it also doesn't mean like your lips are bare Alrighty. I don't really smell the vanilla. It was like sniff testing to see if I smelled the vanilla, but I only really smelled the Fraser fur, which makes sense because Fraser fur just smells so good by times. Um all right. Oh, and my eyebrows, as you know, is my Naked Palette. Um, and I use the brush that the Naked Palette comes with. And I use the thin side, and then I use Buck, Dark Horse, and Hustle. And then I just kind of do this. <laughs> yeah. It's my professional makeup tip. Not a professional. A real girl's tip. And I really didn't get into makeup until, well, I mean, I'm still like not really into makeup. You know, there's like a lot more people who are professional and shop at Sephora and stuff. Sephora is scary to me. <laughs> like it's overwhelming. Like I go in there and I feel like I don't know anything, which I feel like I don't, I, I mean, I don't know anything, so. It's true. You know what? I think after this tea, I think I'm just gonna drink hot water because I just I'm just craving like something hot, but I don't necessarily want to drink chamomile. So okay. 
before we go into the advent calendar, I want to share with you um, the newest way that I've been washing my face. And when I slept over at my friend's house when I was in middle school, one of the girls with like amazing skin brought like a towel and she wet it and she like washed her face with it. So I was like, that's the secret. So what I did was I went to Costco and I bought like, you can buy 12 or no, 24 of these. It's not that big. They can buy 24 of these for like $15 or something. And I wet it with hot water. Like I don't turn any of the cold water on, but my hot water doesn't get like too hot so that you can't hold it. So I make it wet. Um, and then I clean it off even more after I use the Ponds cream. So I use the Ponds cream first, and then I use this to wipe it off with no water. And then I use water and I use soap. I use the, um, what's that brand called? CeraVe, I use the CeraVe um, like face wash that's not foamy, which I don't know how I feel about that one it works well and then I use this and I always see like mascara coming off and you know um, and I always like I always miss like the bottom part of my face so I always like find makeup on the towel so yeah so I would suggest this and try it out and what I do is like when I get it wet I just kind of like put my face over it and kind of steam my face for like two or three seconds and then I wipe it and then I do it a couple more times. So you're basically exfoliating your skin with the towel. Mm. All right, let's go into the 12 days of calendar, 12 days of crafts. All right, just wanted to update you on the candle. It's melting. I feel like it's not melting evenly, which is what happens when the wick is not right in the center. But that's okay, but it is burning well, so it's doing what a candle is supposed to do. <laughs> All right. We can do this. Okay. I'm going to, um, I'm going to do it off camera because I think it's going to be kind of loud, so be right back. Okay, I don't think it's too loud. So this is what it looks like. There's a styrofoam cone. Yeah. 
and these thingies. And like decorative brown bones. There's yellow. Oh, there's a lot of these. begin you will need to gather a few supplies from home craft glue and tape start by using your fingers to bend a piece of red tinsel into the shape of a star okay so I thought this was gonna come with the glue but let me look for one and I'll be right back okay so I found tape I also found some super glue and now I'm learning that our house does not have glue. Maybe I can't find them. But I bought these like little packets of super glue, like four of them for a dollar at the 99 cent store. So I'll use one. And these are really handy because like, you know, like super glue, you just can't like use it after, um, use it for the first time. So this. Let's see if that works. Wait, is it supposed to come out through this little hole? Let's, well, let's wait on that one. All right, so let's read the directions. It says, start by using your fingers to bend a piece of red tinsel into the shape of a star. So that's what it's supposed to look like. Uh, use a piece of tape to attach the star to the top of the cone like this okay all right use another piece of tape to attach the tip of the green pipe cleaner is this the pipe cleaner to the top of the cone Use a circular motion to wrap the pipe cleaner around the cone. Once you reach the end of the cleaner, use another piece of tape to hold the end in place. Repeat this step while adding the red tinsel until the cone is fully covered. Then use craft glue to stick the pom-poms onto the tree. All right, so let's plan this out. Um, This is a really pretty color. Um, I don't know. I may have to vacuum afterwards. And I'm going to do it on top of the desk so that there's less stuff falling or less cleanup. Thankfully, my red robe goes all the way down to my feet. So it's kind of like a blanket, like I've been catching some of these like pom-poms that's been falling down, except for that one, okay. I don't know, I don't know whether this was a good idea, but this, the 12 days of advent calendar, craft advent was $13 so I thought that was a good price for this all right um, hold on I can't okie dokie all right let's see there's one two three green ones Four, five, six, fell on the floor. Mm. Let's 
seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, and there's four red ones. So I have to use four, one, four, one, four, one. No, three. So twelve divided by four is three. <laughs> okay. So I use three green ones and then one red one. All right, and then how do we want to glue? I feel like I'm in booth clues or something, but these are the pom poms, I guess. There's three red, three yellow, three white, and three blue. So, yeah, I guess there's. The design is, you know, oh, I have to make a star with one of the green ones, I mean the red ones. Mm, yeah, I'll use the red one. How do I do a star though? I feel like I have to like draw a star. Okay, one. not working out. How does it look again? Okay. I have to fold, fold it and then, yeah, I think I'm going, that's what I'm missing. <laughs> this is going to look like a Canadian flag. All right. Oh, wait. It should go like this. Okay, and then boom, and then wait. Eh. I think that one of the stars, one of the arms is too big. I have to start over. Okay, um, let me start over. <laughs> this is really funny. <laughs> okay, um, so it needs a thing, has a, has a, okay. All right, so that looks like this. I think this top is too big. I don't know how to fix it without like, uh, okay. Uh, oh, this is way harder than I thought. I think I'm just going to, uh, just make this. Hmm. I am not artistically inclined, and also this is not as easy as it looks. Alright. How many arms does a star have? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So maybe it should be all smaller. Okay, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This is really hard. I 
feel like I need to like, oh, okay, wait, wait, we were getting somewhere. Nope, we were not. Okay. We got two of the legs. Wait, one, two, and then we need this top, three, and then four, and then eight. Okay. Um, all right, you, you see, you see this, it's getting, it's getting close. Wow. I hope the other ones aren't as hard as this. My mom is really good at art stuff, but yeah, I don't know what's going on. I think the edges need to be, sh the corners have to be sharp. And This is probably as close as it's going to get to a star. Well, okay, I'm not going to give up yet. Oh, I have an idea. Why don't I make this in half? Are there directions on how to do the star? No. Okay. And then... So that's half. Let's do the side arm. All the red tinsel thing is coming off as I'm making this. All right. And then It's supposed to look like a Christmas tree. It kind of looks like a Christmas tree now. Hi. Oh, maybe I should spread it a little further. Does that look like a star? All right. This is as close as I'm going to get it to a star. So... Okay. That work. All right. Let's call it a day. I need to tape it or something, right? Okay. I'm gonna tape my star. Uh oh. I need like three hands for this. Okay. This is how it looks like. Okay. Looking weird, but that's okay. You know, you can tell it's homemade. All right. So since there's three reds and 12 greens, I'll do four green and then one red. So I think I should start from the bottom. And it's kind of like making like a pie, uh, like a crisp, but you know, you start from the outside and then you go in. Or should I start from the top? Let's see, what does this one do? This one starts at the top, so, okay, fine. I'll start at the top. Wait, I think this tree, this star, oh. All right. Okay. The, okay. The 
that's better. All right, how do I, how do you stick it though? Attach, uh, using another piece of tape to attach the, oh, use another piece of tape to attach the tip of the green pipe cleaner to the top of the cone. Okay, so I'm gonna use another tape. All right, I could have just used glue. I feel like a glue would work better than tape in this situation because right now it looks like this. I don't, I don't like this. I'm gonna use glue. So, I hope the tinsel doesn't come off. Okay, that's good. This is it, okay. Let's try, oh man. And I even cleaned, oh, oh, all right. It is supposed to come out of this little tiny tube. Oh, it's coming out. All right, all right, okay. Okay. Oh, oh, that sticked pretty well. I almost stuck my finger on to it. Oh. Yeah, I think a tape was a good idea. All right. I said four greens, right? Then, let's see, so if I want like three reds, I gotta divide this into, if I do three, then one, two, three. Does one go all around? Yeah, it does. Okay, I'll just do I'll stick to my original plan, but I need to glue this now. coming along and now I have glue on my finger which I can't feel my finger because of the uh, glue but that's okay all right green number two this is fun I've thought about buying a glue gun and all the fun projects that I would do but it's okay. I don't think I will. Oh no, stick to my finger more than the styrofoam. Oh, this is really messy. This is not for ages six and up. This is, oh, oh. See now, this sticky glue is stuck on my finger. Oh. going that worked okay if there's any holes I'm just gonna put the little balls on there to fill the hole oh my gosh I have to do this like 12 more times this is so much glue so many chances of disaster. I mean, I already have glue on my hand. 
I think I'm gonna put glue on the styrofoam so that I'm gonna use the glue to glue it to like hold it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Um, should I use one red one right now? I feel like it's like, kind of needs a red one. All right, let's try it. All right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna glue the styrofoam. Oh no. Is there no more glue left? There's a little bit of glue left. There's not a lot of glue in this tiny thing as much as I thought there was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. struggling so much. Okay. I am determined. Thankfully, I have more super glue. And I don't know, I feel like this should have come with the super glue or something because, like, you know, not every household has super glue on hand. All right. It's not looking great, but yeah, I don't know. Let's keep going. Maybe it'll look better later on when it's almost done but like now my fingers feel weird because of the glue all right it's like squeezing toothpaste out you know it's just one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I think next time I'm going to start this earlier because I did not expect tea time to be this long. Um, all right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I will be right back. Mm, okay, so I was going to do this offline because I kind of felt like I'm just here gluing away and not really doing a great job, but, you know, part of the fun is the struggle, so let's struggle together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You know, I think the star was the hardest part. And...
Oops. Bam. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, there's a little bit of a hole here, but. Right, let's do one more green and then let's do a red because this is more than this part. All right. Let me get some tape. Oh, eesh. Okay, that feels better. Okay, I got a little bit off. I'm going to put some glue on the styrofoam. Yeah, this is like a one day super glue. There isn't a lot in here, but it's good for like those like one off things that you need to fix, but kind of like too lazy or you don't want to open up like a whole new super glue. 